Yeah, no, um, okay. Again, another exciting, informative, and insightful uh, show on SMM. Very good afternoon and welcome to the 1873 TV. Good afternoon, Tinashe. Uh, we continue looking at uh, the acquisition of Shabani Mashawa Mines and more importantly, also uh, better understanding, uh, especially the notion that uh, Chinam uh, Honorable Patrick Chinamasa has always uh, propagated that uh, Shabani Mashawa Mines was acquired using a government guarantee. Yeah, I think when you say always, then we need the instances when actually he said what and in what capacity was he saying uh, the things so i think the whole exercise is just to gather the facts so that we can't generalize we can then be specific on, on occasions yeah. where so he yesterday, reiterated that yes. yesterday we were looking at the article and the, we were i think it was one way of just establishing what was said at the time yes. and what was known in the media circles during that period during that period so we can then go into the a discussion related to those facts so we were looking at this article and we actually left on uh, where it was stating that as at 31 july 2004 it is is exposed to the tune of 41.8 billion Zimbabwean dollars arising from bank facilities extended to the group companies and guaranteed by the holding company. So the next uh, paragraph that follows that we, where we are taking it up from, it reads, government has been exposed through loans by some of its arms to SMM. Okay. And so again, we discussed that yesterday. Yes. Where the government can have these legs that are being talked about. Whether the government can have arms, whether the state exists as a contracting party, and more importantly, whether the state exists as a creditor, because for you to be a creditor, you must be able to have the capacity to create credit. And if you go to to the Parliament of Zimbabwe to check whether there has been any appropriation of any money since independence to this entity called the state, then you can be then indebted to the second stage. So if you are looking at arms of government, it is clear that the minister is not an arm of government, but the department that he administers, that is the arm of government. So what would happen is money comes from taxes, whether direct or indirect, and also money comes into the fiscus from donations, from grants, from other a, a beneficial, a benefactors. It comes into the consolidated fund then is then allocated to different organs of state. But each organ has got a legal existence. You can't say I allocated money to somebody who doesn't exist. 
and that person then acquires the capacity to be a creditor. So there has to be a, a sources yes. and application of funds. But you can't have applications. I can't be a creditor. And on the other hand, I don't have the capacity to be called a creditor. So if you take an example, you castrate a person, mm -hmm. then you expect that person to have a child. Which is impossible. That is the impossibility and the absurdity of this whole enterprise. And what I find interesting here, Mr. Maweri, with what you have actually shared, it just takes me back to the conversation, or rather the, yeah, the, the conversation that I had with Dr. Ankosana Moyo, in particular to whether uh, state can be con a contracting partner in any way. How, how is it possible that the state can actually be a creditor in any circumstance? And yet this is an individual who wants to run for public office. I'm saying his understanding of your question was whether government can be a creditor. I don't think to him it was clear what you were talking about. Whether there's a distinction between government, government and state. And, 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 and state. But most people assume that government is the, the state. Yeah, is the omnipotent. It's everything. You can't fight the state. State controlled media. How many times have you heard that? Uh, many, many a times I've yeah. heard that. Okay. It's a state owned company. State owned entity. They want to create a state bank. And you ask the people and you scratch them in their, in their brains just to try to open the brains and say, what exactly do you mean? The day after this bank is established, what should happen? Do I go to the bank, to the branch, and see on the forehead of the person <laughs> written the state? Or do I go? Where do I go? Because right now, I don't even see the bank branch manager. When it's now a state bank, who do I see in the bank? Nobody explains. So the literacy around this idea called government is very low. Is it willful ignorance? You may discover it's actually not willful ignorance, but generally institutions are not understood by many. So government, they say, but it's a government, this is a person with a PhD. Mm -hmm. Who is telling you that there's no distinction between government and government? You say, but then why not cause this a government? They say, no, 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 we don't understand, young man. Let me teach you what questions to ask. Because I can see you're troubled, you are not clear. So they, when they become presidents, can you imagine, people are not clear. Who do they go to? Mm. They'll be told, my friend, you're a fool. Government is for smart people, ask proper questions. So the attitude towards ignorance by the educated is atrocious. Because instead of saying, young man, let me explain to you, the attitude is there's nothing to explain. Because what you are asking, you don't know what you are asking. The person doesn't know you, doesn't know what your mind is. Yes. But they automatically assume that you are doing a hatchet job. You have been sent by somebody because you are not capable of being a full human being unless you put qualifications before your name. That's why most people are borrowing the word doctor so that every corner you see a doctor this, doctor that, and doctor pastor, doctor <laughs> this. <laughs> Comrade doctor. <laughs> Comrade doctor. <laughs> And my friend, don't address me without that way. Honorable comrade. Then you have now apartheid of doctors. Which school did you go to to get your PhD? So they'll finish you. 
So <laughs> the article goes on further to state that, uh, in particular, AA mines were <coughs> through guaranteeing loans extended to the mines. It's what? Uh, in particular, AA mines yeah. or through guaranteeing... Or through. Uh, imagine the through now. <laughs> this, this is... In the, I go through... <laughs> I wanted to get somewhere. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. All through. I through my son. I borrowed. <laughs> I borrowed one million. <laughs> Who was the borrower? <laughs> no, no, my friend, the father was the borrower. <laughs> through my son, I impregnated a woman. <laughs> this, is, this is the tragedy of, of development. Yeah, yeah, definitely, Mr. Maweri. When we, when you, when you unpack these aspects, which uh, I had no clear understanding of as well, you real, I realized that uh, illiteracy is a great challenge amongst individuals, and uh, it's very important that as individuals, if we are to move forward, we start investing in literacy, especially when it comes to institutions. We need to better understand them. When we better understand the functionality of institutions, it means as individuals we are better equipped and we can be able to progress. So I can go further with the okay. article. Uh, from uh, where it was said, through, yeah. uh, through guaranteeing loans extended to the mines. Yeah. Uh, for example, is now giving an example. No, they say through guarantees extended. They're not saying through guarantees uh, used to purchase them. No. <laughs> But if I'm a blind person, the way I read it, it's true. <laughs> because I think the guarantee was to what? To the mines. Yeah. It's one, uh, one point to note. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. To the mines. Not to Maweri. Mm. All of a sudden, they're saying Maweri is the Oporo. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> okay. For example, government issued a guarantee to enable SMM to source funds on the local market to the tune of a 18 million US dollar loan. Mm -hmm. It is not clear whether or not SMM used the guarantee to secure the funds, but the guarantee is still valid. The position is still to be confirmed. Okay. Yes. So at the time, they don't even know. So if you understand what a guarantee is, then you understand how how, how foolish the statement is. First, I'm saying that if you fail to pay, I will stand good on the payment. Mm -hmm. So when does a guarantee kick in? Only when you fail to pay. Yeah. So they don't say who has failed to pay, to who. And they don't say what remedies were available to the party that was purportedly owed money. And how does the, the, the guarantor come in directly to the person they've guaranteed? Because first, if I'm a bank, I give you money, you don't have security. Then somebody comes in and said, if Tinashe fails to pay, I, will, I undertake to make good to the bank. So the first bank must first establish that I failed to pay. Yes. And Before it actually approaches the guarantor. Garant yeah. In this matter of SMM, the, the, the facts are just not there. Good afternoon, uh, Dr. Maweri. <laughs> <laughs> in, the, in the spirit of doctorates. <laughs> Mishana, a very good afternoon to you and welcome. Good afternoon, Dr. Mpasiri. <laughs> I think there's a presidential office waiting <laughs> for, for doctors. I think <laughs> there are people who did masters and they couldn't get to <laughs> this is, no, so, I mean, it's, it's very interesting. Um, I've, I've just uh, only um, uh, just come in to this discussion. Yeah. Well, what I, I just need some clarity, and I hope you're not going to shoot me down, as you said, you know, ignorant people need to be treated with respect as well. That's right. Yeah. 
So this idea, so this when they, so when we hear uh, uh, Chinamasa and uh, other people quoting that uh, Mawere was given a government guarantee, this is what they're talking about. I, no, I mean I can't go to the mind of an evil. No, no, I'm just. Saying no, no, I, 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 I think uh, I've not yet an opportunity to interview Chinamasa to mm. get his state of mind at the material time. Uh, so I think your question is a valid question, but it's directed at the wrong person. Um, shall I still there? Okay. I think, yeah. Uh, we seem to have so yeah, you, I can't import my mind into into China's mind so that I can see sense where there's no sense. <laughs> Hello, doctors. <Yeah. laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay, good. Go ahead. We seem to be having connection problems here. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you can go ahead, Mshana. Right. So, w w what I wanted to say was, uh, am I right? I didn't hear your comment. If you commented to my last question. No, I was saying. I go don't on. know what what is being discussed, so I don't. So we'll go into what Chinamasa said. I think for this, yeah. we're just uh, giving what the newspapers version. Okay. Yeah, so, then, but so was 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 there a guarantee that was given to SMM? Yeah. No, no. I'm saying it's we are, no, we are but, going but to not go. To, not to to more the person. No, no. Yeah. No. I'm saying is uh, the guarantee was was not given. You don't give a guarantee to the borrower. You give a guarantee to the lender. Yeah. It is the correct. lender yes. who needs assurance. Yeah, not the borrower. Yes. Yeah, so I've never had a guarantee going to a borrower. Okay, but where you where, where, where the lenders given a guarantee by government on your on behalf of SMM? No, the yeah, the, the lenders are the ones who require the guarantee. Because they were lending into an unstable country. Yeah, yeah that's fine. So, yeah, so we'll go, the, 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 we'll go through the when, guarantee when and see the, what it says. But I think, Mshana, you are 20 steps ahead. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's, let, let me backtrack then. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, uh, let's uh, try like, like a Zongororo. <laughs> <laughs> or or <a> Kamba. <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, we can uh, let, let we can move forward in terms of the law. Oh, the one gun. It's, it's, uh, let, let's move forward. In terms of the law, a guarantor is a contingent creditor of the principal debtor, and is obliged to meet the guaranteed debt if the principal debtor fails to discharge his obligations. So there you can see there is an understanding of what guarantee, guarantor, and guaranteed person, what the relationships are. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead, yeah. It is understood that the government <coughs> would be obliged to meet the guarantee assigned to the three financial institutions. It so would be, not is. Go ahead. Just to underscore. In the event that SMM Holdings <coughs> fails to meet the debt obligations that's right in the event that, so would be mm -hmm. a, who would be approaching the government if it was a guarantor it's the financial institution. the lender it's the financial institution but in this case it's all probabilities even yeah. in after, the event yeah in the event in the event but there's no event I'll take a raincoat if there's a, if there's a rain, it rains. But if there's no rain, you don't need the raincoat. You just... And my umbrella will be where it belongs. <laughs> okay. It will therefore become a creditor to SMM Holdings on repayment of the loan and would be entitled to recover the repayment from the company. Would be. It's still would. Would. There's no ease anymore. Mm. SMM has failed to pay its debts 
as yeah. evidenced by the attachment of its property by field technical services. Okay. Now, field technical services is a credit according to the story. Has attached. It's not the bank. Yeah? Yes. So the government says, okay, because field is, is in the field, then I already anticipate that you are going to have an accident. So I have to take preemptive measures to stop you coming or the guarantee being called. Yeah, it's called safe it. Huh? It's called safe it. Yeah, okay, that's, I think, yeah. It's called, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what do they call it? Magic. <laughs> you need a magician. Hey, Mushara, did you say safety or tefiti? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, both of them will work in this case. Uh, oh. uh, field technical services, a mining equipment manufacturer, and threats of liquidation by power utility Zesa. Mm -hmm. SMM through AA Mines has already received... True, true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go ahead. Has already received 63 million uh, ZIM dollars from the Reserve Bank Productive Sector Facility, <coughs> which is a further debt. The growth of SMM holdings has been anchored on the mining of Chrysotal fiber at AA Mines. Mm -hmm. AA mines, which is made up of Shabani mines. <laughs> made up of. <laughs> just the, the language of our journalists. Made up of. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you took clay and put a clay. And, put. and you're building a person. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> AA mines, which is made up of Shabani mine in Shabani, established in 1970, 1917. And uh, gas mine in Mashaba, established in 1914, is the fifth largest producer of high-quality chrysotile white asbestos fiber in the world. AA Mines is a division of SMM Holdings. AA Mines employs 5,500 workers at the two mines, and the communities in Jishawane and Mashaba are totally dependent on the survival of the two mines. In addition, AA Mines is a major foreign currency earner and <coughs> contributes significantly to the gross domestic product with plus or minus annual export earnings of 40 million US dollars. Production at AA Mines has been on a decline from June 2003 to April 2004. Asbestos production fell from 157,264 tons in 2003 to 122,150 tons Hello? in 2004. Okay, uh, I think we are now joined Hello? by Mr. Jack Matiza. Mr. Jack Matiza. Hello. Hi, right, Mr. Matiza. Good afternoon. Hello, Mr. Matiza. Okay, I, I think he's failing to hear us, but uh, uh, we'll continue on with the, article, with the article that we are looking at. And once we are able to connect with Matiza, you also join us in the discussion. So SMM has also suffered low capitalization and uh, diversion, diversion of cash resources. It is understood that out of the 35.1 billion Zim dollars, generated in 2003, only 3.7 billion uh, Zim dollars was spent on capital expenditure, resulting in high maintenance and overtime expenditure as well as reduced production. It is believed that the remainder of the cash was spent elsewhere to expand the SMM empire and acquisition of machinery and equipment at non-group companies. It is because of these problems at the mines that there is little prospect of SMM meeting its obligation from their operations. In order for the company to meet some of its obligation, government is therefore likely to have, have to make good the guarantees that are used as security
for some of the loans. Mucha, now you remember the word speculative political entrepreneur. Joao. Yeah, this is the speculation that is permeating through that. So they are speculating that you fail to pay, and they are speculating that if you fail to pay, the government will be required to make good. But those events have not occurred yet. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, so we go on further. <clears throat> it is understood the company suffers from bad corporate governance, and this will make any turnaround virtually impossible. In the event that the government does not take corrective measures and intervene, it is in inevitable that SMM holdings will collapse. It was imperative that the government intervened urgently to protect the workers, the local community in Rishawani and Mashaba, and the economy of the country at large. The, restru the restructuring is intended to, sub to substitute debt for equity as the government seeks to reduce the company's debt burden, thereby raising the value of the company. In order to secure national interests, the interests of the employees of the company and those of the local community, a restructuring of the debt owed by the mines to government, statutory bodies and other government arms was imperative. The restructuring of SMM holdings will entail the conversion of the debt into equity, resulting in a shift in share ownership. A business, had great, a business had greater value as a going concern than if dismembered and liquidated and therefore maximum benefit would be realized from all interested parties, creditors, shareholders and workers through the July monetary policy provisions which spelled out among other things the setting aside of $200 billion, I think these are Zim dollars, towards the rehabilitation of distressed industries around the country. The fund was established following government's growing concern over the decline, of, uh, the decline in industrial production in the country's traditional hubs of economic activity. Over and above the conversion of debt into equity, <coughs> government will mobilize and provide additional resources for working capital requirements of SMM holdings. This will be just and equitable to the employees, the local community, and the country as a whole. AA mines can be restored to profitability given sufficient time and resources and a change in shareholding and management. Besides AA mines, the following companies also fall under SMM, Tenor Holdings Limited, in which SMM has 61% shareholding, Steelnet Zimbabwe Limited, 61%, Chemspec Private Limited, 100%, Cerno Chemicals Private Limited, 100%, owned by Chemspec, FSI Trading Private Limited, 100% SMM, Tube and Pipe Private Limited, Division of Steelnet, Asset Zimbabwe Limited, Division of Steelnet, BMA Fasteners, Division of Steelnet, General Beltings Limited, 51% SMM, General Beltings, Division of General Beltings Limited, and Pigot and Maskew, Division of General Beltings Limited. The government has specified Angerite Properties, Private Limited, Ukupambana Kubatana Investments, SMM Holdings, FSI Agricom, and CFI Holdings, and appointed Mr. Reggie Saruchera of Kalmelsa Chartered Accountants as the investigator in terms of the Prevention of Corruption Act. The move to preserve the assets and to ensure the continuity of operations of the companies the move was to preserve the assets and to ensure the continuity of operations of the companies. 
the investigator would focus on group ownership, pattern and structures, funding of acquisitions and dealings resulting in the ownership structures, extent of liabilities and borrowings of the companies, use of the funds that were borrowed, major capital expenditure, intergroup flows of funds and diversions, and foreign currency deals that were conducted and relationships with foreign organizations and players as well as transactions between shareholders and the company. The findings of the in investigations would, among other things, assist in determining the extent of indebtedness of the specified companies. And that is the end of uh, the article from the Herald of 7th September 2004. So, okay, any, any questions? Is Lloyd also with us? Is Lloyd Musiba also with us? Uh, maybe you can also add uh, Lloyd to the conversation. Apri? Yeah. Hello? Lloyd, a very good afternoon. Hello, Lloyd? Okay. Uh, um, Shana? Hello, can you, can you hear me? Yes, Lloyd, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How is that wildfire? And, no, it's actually Tinashe. Uh, how are you today? I am well. How are you, Tinashe? I'm very well, thanks, and welcome to the 1873 uh, TV as we uh, have this uh, discussion on uh, the acquisition, the facts sur uh, surrounding the acquisition of Shabani Mashal Mines. Right, yes. I was, uh, so I'll put you on, uh, on mute at this end because I was making a lot of background noise. I was just listening to what you were reading there. Is that the, is that the report in, uh, in the state paper? Yes. Uh, uh, in the... Yes, it, it is. It, of SMM, so to speak. Yes, yeah, that was the herald of the 7th of September 2004. The day oh, after the... So, so obviously, there have been developments since that time. No, we just wanted to set the stage and to establish All right. where the company was and the way that... Because most people, when you talk of SMM, they only, they only know of the mines. They don't know that there were other companies unrelated to the mine. Yes, okay, yeah. That okay. were then I'm, I'm, yeah. part of this coup d'etat. So in framing the act, they had to invent new terms which are not known elsewhere. So that they can get grandchildren and get grandchildren in the same camp. Right. Okay. I understand. Okay. So yeah. Who else is there? there is, uh, who else is on the panel with? with, uh, with... Uh, I think Mushana is. Still, Mushana, are you still there? Uh, Mushana. Uh, there was Matiza, who is uh, who is also with uh, Norman. Uh, in Arari, the lawyer representing friends of SMM okay. is also yeah. Mukada Gumbo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we can go to the next uh, installment. What is, what is it? Okay, uh, the next uh, uh, article that we are looking at, and uh, if you're wondering how you can also. Uh, get that article. All you have to do is just go to just go to the 1873 TV uh, Facebook page, and this is uh, an article in the Sunday Mail of October 24 to 30, uh, 2010. So, All right. So you can look at paragraph 15 of that. Uh, this one mm -hmm. is a press statement issued by the Minister of. Uh, finance who was then the Minister of Justice. Okay, all right, okay then. So if we go to paragraph 15, uh, it reads, following the approval of the scheme of reconstruction, 
the administrator has been implementing the scheme. The reconstruction of SMM and the implementation of the scheme have culminated in the change of ownership and control of SMM to the government of Zimbabwe through Nickel Investments Private Limited, which owns 76% of SMM's issued share capital, with the balance of 24% being owned by SMM Holdings Limited, that is SMM UK, a United Kingdom registered company. SMM UK right. is in turn. Well, I think uh, Lloyd wants, wants to intervene, is it? Hello? Yes. Um, hello? Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, wh what I wanted to say was um, you see, you, all these facts are, are in the public domain. What uh, obviously should be interrogating is uh, the whole approach um, with regards not only to SMM, but to other companies or individual business people who were operating at the time. So that you put this thing in its entire context because it was not Stimawere only uh, that was affected by a government policy that was not necessarily a prudent one. You had the, the, the James Mishores who ended up in the United Kingdom. You had um, uh, Vingirai, uh, something of that, of that nature. You had Steve yeah. Masiwa also going out of Zimbabwe. And then obviously you no, had... Uh, no, in, 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 fact, so, uh, in fact, the dispute uh, is really, this uh, show is a response to a dispute. Yes. Uh, so yes, there I, are people... I, I understand. Uh, get, uh, Give, give, me, give, me a, give me a bit of uh, a leeway. With, well, I'll, I'll show you where I'm trying to get with this. We, we, SMM becomes the, the test case. Because remember, out of all the other guys that were affected in a similar fashion, it's only uh, Mr. Mawero who stood up and said, no, I want to test this uh, with regard to justice, with regard to uh, how business ethics should, should work. So we've got this uh, SMM case as a test case, both under international law or Zimbabwe national law, vis-a-vis um, -vis all our thoughts. So what I'm getting at is that international law is devoid of political influence, is devoid of all these other uh, innuendos that come from personalities, from uh, power brokers and so on. So it will look at that case from a justiciable point of view. While national law in Zimbabwe will look at it differently. So to make this case stand out, we should now hold it in juxtaposition to Zimbabwe national laws. Look at those laws, the Reconstruction Act. How do they fare under international law? Are they laws that should be operating in this century or there are laws that were designed to um, further a particular end. Because international law would not uh, impoverish a person who is employing thousands of people. No, in fact, you, you, you understand? No, in fact, yeah. you, you, got, you, you got understand where I'm coming from. You know, you got a point, but there are steps ahead of us. Because we were just trying okay. to get, uh, there is a, a contestation. One, right. there is one view that says the acquisition of SMM in the first place was done through a government guarantee. Yes. So that, uh -huh. f that is uh, pervasive. It's a, a, a view that is widely held. And no, it, but, uh, no, no, I'm but saying, that view... I'm saying okay. is, uh, uh, Lloyd, you may have your personal views, but there are mm -hmm. views, there are views that came up, and they continue to come up, and we want to establish who, on behalf of the government, holds this view. Yeah. And I, I'll, 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 I'll give you my take with this. Yeah. Uh, there were parliamentary committees set up to investigate this MM issue. And, uh, and I happen to know a few of the guys that sit in these committees and their take on this matter. And they have described to me the political overtones that, that came on with this uh, particular issue. 
the issue of acquisition of uh, SMM by government guarantees is, is, is look, the, the, the assertion is threadbare. There is no truth to that, except coming from the political uh, angle. Because no business, uh, no person, okay, let's go back to the guy who owned Mashawa Mine in the first place, the, 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 the white man. There is no way that man would have accepted a guarantee from a government that was already is struggling in as far as payments were concerned. It was not possible. Having said that, the guys who sat in the committees that were investigating uh, Mr. Mawere in his personal capacity in order to um, issue that warrant of arrest, uh, in order to uh, specify him, were actually struggling with the political pressure that we're talking about. In real terms, the, this, the way this thing is meant to have proceeded was that this was meant to be a case where government does not play any role uh, in, in recovering any money owed to institutions like ZESA or other service providers. So what I'm trying to get at is this succession that Let, let's get that out of the way. Let's no, I, 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 I'm saying, uh, Lloyd, you have more facts than the average person. And it's good that you are, you are in the program. But uh, imagine there are people, be patient with the people who don't know what you know. Because it's not the case that there are people who are suspicious by nature. And there are people who see demons where there are no demons. So, uh, please just uh, be slow. Okay, all right. And, and, okay. and, and tolerant. All right, okay. Then. Yeah. Okay, okay let's... Okay. Uh, now we can go ahead by uh, with the press statement that was uh, issued by uh, then uh, Minister... Of In fact, then, uh, Norman uh, Mukanda Gumbo, uh, he, 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 he writes, does Chinamasa and crew's argument regarding government of Zimbabwe guarantee hold any water? And I think uh, uh, Lloyd has already uh, questioned it from a, a legal point of view and a moral point of view and a financial point of view. And I don't think he has, a, he has left any, any room open for any argument. But I think uh, uh, we have to go through the steps so that we exercise these demons out of people. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so let's read again that paragraph. Then you see what the construction is. The paragraph 15. Paragraph 15, yes. Yeah, you start again so that, Lloyd, you can see how mischievous people in government can be. Following, let's, let's, let's hear. Following the approval, of the scheme of reconstruction yeah the administrator has been implementing the scheme the reconstruction of smm and the implementation of the scheme have culminated in the change of imagine, ownership imagine culminating in change of ownership imagine uh, lloyd you are a lawyer and you have something mutating into ownership it starts as what? It starts as reconstruction, but reconstruction mutates into on change of ownership. Have you ever heard this? Is, this is being written as a press statement to the country, to the world, that reconstruction by an administrator appointed by the minister, not by the court, has mutated or has what? What is the word that you use? Culminated. Culminated in a change of ownership where shares change hands outside the knowledge and consent of the previous owner. The, 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 the Reconstruction Act 
its primary purpose and uh, to do what it should have done what it said to reconstruct an organization that failed now owed more than what it had in terms of assets. Wasn't that, isn't that the correct no, legal position? No, no, I'm saying is that uh, uh, you can't reconstruct something if you don't have the inherent powers to do so. But the, as, oh, you, sure. as you were saying, they found that this woman was so attractive. The only way to get here was to pass a law preventing any other men from getting close to here. Okay, I, uh, I, okay. I, I, I like your analogy, but yes, carry on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, and control of SMM to the government of Zimbabwe. Imagine control that changes automatically. You lose your home as a result of this magic occurring outside your home. Mm -hmm. Someone comes to your farm and say, "Hang on, what are you doing? I'm the new owner. I got a letter from the minister. Minister, who?" That is what that is what I was saying, that national law as it operated at the time, it political overtook. So we, we now need to dissect what to send as law, because an unjust law is not a law at all. No, that's why we, we are going there. We are just going through what he said. These are words you know, we are importing. We are just interpreting like the Bible. I can't bring Jesus and bring the law. I just accept that this is what invaded the minister's mind. And he is saying, the minister says, we did some magic outside your home. It resulted in the change of ownership. And you find in yourself a what a trespasser in your own home. Right. Let, let, let him finish reading. Okay. Um, uh, through Nickel Investments Private Limited. Through Nickel. Not Nico. Oh, it's a Nick Dale. Sorry, sorry, but thank you for the correction. Well, uh, the company that was used to acquire the, the whole conglomerate, isn't it? No, they created this magic in the Reserve Bank. <laughs> Gono and a certain guy who is now M MP called Chelsea. He calls himself advocate. He's an MP. Oh, Ninja Chelsea, the former yeah. deputy. Uh, the, deputy uh, the former. Uh, Conspirator of the in the reserve. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Nick Dell Investments Private Limited, which owns 76% of Shaban of SMMs issued share capital. Yeah, SMM right. what? Issued share capital. Which owns what? 76% of a Zimbabwean company that was 100% owned by an English company. All of a sudden, right. Nick Dell ends up with 76 percent without right. the consent of the previous 100 percent you find you own 100 percent of a car and you wake up one day now you own 76 percent you know somebody owns 76 percent and he says it's my car right. this is not the animal no. kingdom this is a real right. movie. Okay. Uh, with the balance of 24% being owned by SMM Holdings Limited, SMM UK, a United Kingdom registered company, SMM UK is in turn owned 100% by AMG Global Nominees Private Limited through bare share warrants on behalf of the government Imagine. of Zimbabwe. Have you ever heard I own it through bear share warrants? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Have you ever heard? No, 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 I've never. What, what, what was that again? Ever what? Yeah, just, 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 just repeat so that you follow the magic. <laughs> SMM UK. <laughs> is in turn owned 100% by AMG Global Nominees Private Limited through Biera share warrants 
through bear a share warrants. Yeah. That the UK company <laughs> was also affected by reconstruction in Zimbabwe. That, that, that is why, uh, our saying that uh, you, we need, you need to look at this from two considerations. National law is affected by the politics of the day and international law. So because your, your, your company did not operate, in, in, uh, your, your companies were global. So international law comes to bear. So when uh, national no, not law no. by political considerations make decisions that pay forth to uh, overreach international law that's a contradiction in terms because international law is not affected by what happens in the domestic uh, courts especially if that particular decision is tainted with irregularity no this is this is the country that gosano Moy wants to be a president of and guess yeah, who is the minister of guess who is the minister of justice but my, my understanding is that Kosana Moyo wants to change all these things. He doesn't even know what to change because he says, I'm not interested. How can he change something? No, no, no my, 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 my understanding, let, let's give them, let's give them a chance. No, no, give, one, give it. If, uh, no, Lloyd, if Lloyd, Lloyd yeah. you, you may have patience. I'm just saying is you are entitled to have patience. I'm saying is let's not give you know you know you know when Hitler started they thought it was gypsies and says let him, let give me a chance for for Hitler to clean up all these what these vagabonds and uh, they cleaned the gypsies. Then they said hang on <laughs> let's look around who else is left until they get your doorstep. So ignorance is the biggest disease. And it's not an enemy of PhDs as well. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, you see this way, the PhD issue is a very sensitive matter at the moment. But anyway. No, I'm, I'm just saying is that uh, if you want to be somebody, please learn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, you know what more. We saying, All we are saying is, let's have legs remember, small. Let's make baby steps. Remember, remember, remember uh, with patience, uh, even your own governor, Gideon Gono, later on realized uh, that what they done. No, he's not my governor, but uh, he was not my governor. He was a governor of the Reserve Bank. So there are two okay. things. So he was appointed yeah. to do certain tasks and i don't know what he was doing but uh, uh, please don't extend that to ownership i don't know what the man <laughs> thinks and i don't know what later on visited him but i know him and chelsea were the were the architects the of that, oh, the letter that you wrote to the president later on no yeah that that uh, that uh, when you when you are part of a crew of destruction and then you you decided that later on you see reason you go to a confession you go to what you go to a priest yeah but in this in i'm not a priest he wrote to the president now i'm saying he was writing to his president but the president is the same person who gave life to this nonsense true enough but that's why i'm saying that okay you you, you may not have the same patience that we were talking about here but remember, uh, almost 60 to 70 percent of the people who were involved in uh, destroying SMM, now their views have changed because they are now getting all the facts, and some have got all the facts, including uh, Bright Matonga and Harare there. I was talking to him, and he, was, he was one of the committee members, and he was telling me that, no, no, that man was, was dealt a bad hand. No, so, I, no, I'm just saying, imagine I go to the Holocaust, and I go to the survivors, right. And I said they were dealt a bad end by Hitler. I don't think it's a it's a it's something that you want to talk about. Let's not let's not talk about people who are singing Amazing Grace. It is not comforting, but it's the realization that at least that legacy it will be salvaged at the end of the day. 
That is the what, what no, no. Is I'm, the, I'm, I'm just saying you, you are a lawyer. Let's just follow the facts on paragraph 15. Let's finish it so that you can see what the input of this uh, 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 construction. Because you see how absurd it is and how criminal it is. Because right now, but, yeah. So, let, let me highlight. Let me highlight a very important factor. Okay. Uh, uh, you know when a judge makes a ruling. Yeah. They also speak around the ruling. Uh, what they what they say is referred to as dicta. It's, it's basically a, a commentary that that one says when they've come up with a judgment. Like in this instance, someone may turn around and say, "Look, um, the, the the dicta in this, is the, the sentiment, the utterances, what people are saying, and these are people who were in authority at the time who." If asked about this case at that given time, at the, during that timeline, they would be saying, no, 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 Mr. Mawere was, uh, you know, became a rich man because uh, uh, Emerson Mnangagwa and everybody else stood there and gave him government guarantees to acquire this mine. Uh, many years later, the very same people are the ones who are saying, look, um, this man was built a, 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 a bad hand. This man is, is, is entitled to some degree of compensation. This, see, sentiment is, 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 is growing. People are beginning to talk. And the very people who were involved in bringing SMM to where it is today are actually speaking out about it. And, and radio shows like this are educating every Zimbabwean. Would look, this is what happens when a government overreaches uh, in terms of its uh, policy reach, a government is supposed to create an enabling environment for for businesses to operate. It should not be involved in any business, whether regulatory or otherwise. There are inst formal institutions that are quasi government that do that. Okay, when are you running for, for office? <laughs> Well, that's what that, we were, we were that, looking forward that, to yesterday. Sorry? I thought you, you uh, after Dr. Ngosana Moyo, you were going to be, because what you are saying is exactly what needs to be said. That you cannot... Yeah, but, but, but that has always been as clear as the daylight. No, it's to you it's something. very clear, but I don't think, it, don't assume, Lloyd, you, uh, people are like you. Just, anyway, just, just be careful yeah. that the world you can't average knowledge and assume um, that everybody is at the same I would, level. I would like to think that Zimbabweans are generally very astute people. Uh, from my understanding, they are running what? No, you you saw humble. yesterday how uh, humble Tinashe was. Uh, just by being a people are, some people are allergic to facts because they know everything so they don't want the details because they already know where they are going so please lloyd we are doing this for the average person who really wants to have the facts so that if the minister is a liar let's deal with him as a liar he may be truthful for other things. But on this matter, let's get the facts so that we don't accuse the person wrongly. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's, let's, let's move yeah. on. You, know, you, you, okay. you are reading yeah. something. Yeah, yes, we have actually completed uh, paragraph 15 of... No, no, we have not completed because it is pregnant. Okay, uh, we're going on to... No, no, the same 15. They are saying AMG. Okay, uh, SMM UK. SMM UK, a UK company now, is being referred to by a minister in Zimbabwe. Is mm -hmm. in turn owned 100% by AMG. By AMG Global Nominees Private Limited mm -hmm. through Bearer Through Bearer Warren. in the UK now, which journalists mm -hmm. should go. You know, this thing was published in 20 what? In 2010. October to Yeah, October. now it's seven years later. Nobody has picked yeah. up. Imagine I go Chindori died. You remember you were talking about the report for parliament. 
Yeah, yeah she's the origin in there. Yes, I know the the, the, the I know the, the, the accident and everything that went with it. Yes. The report. So the chairman of the same committee, who is also a ZANU-PF mm -hmm. member, was on air mm -hmm. this week. He didn't even know the report exists. Who is this, uh, if I may ask? Daniel Shumba. Uh, uh, Honor, uh, the Honorable Dr. Uh, Daniel, Daniel Shumba. But uh, I've, I've been worked in government, but I've, see, I've seen, I've, I've read all these things. So that has told us that, please, let's slow down. If the chairman of the portfolio committee does not know, Shinamasa went to parliament and lied that he's got bear share warrants. You know what, Shindori died. Before he died, he was asking for the minister to what? Uh, to, produce. to produce the bear share warrants. Mm -hmm. Hashtag yes, produce bear share warrants. Mm -hmm. And Shinamasa, under oath, he says, we have the bear share warrants. Mm -hmm. And he was lying. So they said, okay, we have understood that you got them. Can you give us the bear share warrants? Has, has there been an additional voice since the uh, since origin? Uh, uh, has anybody else asked for them since that time? No, the chairman, the current chairman does not even know what the dispute was or what the matter remained. But, sure, but surely he would have educated himself that, this no, I'm, so don't much, so don't, paper that there's no L Lloyd, you live in England. If, Teresa may may know everything. Let's just uh, accept that people don't know what we know. So let's All educate right. them patiently. Tell me something. Uh, is uh, is is Marie Dad not part of uh, the, this, uh, this this uh, portfolio committee that is supposed to? Uh, Marie Dad was supposed to be on air and he, he vanished. I think he evaporated in between. I don't know. <laughs> so. Uh, the, 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 so you the, can the, ask Marie Dad is he still alive or or not? No, we might be getting rapture of government ministers. <laughs> I don't know, but uh, uh, my dad can speak for himself. I can't speak on his behalf. <laughs> but people okay. generally are allergic to knowledge. People are generally allergic to facts. Because they already know. Even before traveling, they've already seen the destination. So I don't believe that this aspect that they are talking about, that bear share warrants, all they say it is, please give us the bear share warrants. So now, what is the truth about this bear share warrants? Let's go to Parliament. What did Chinamasa say in 2005 about the acquisition? No. Well, I'm aware that he said under what that these documents are, these documents are there. Uh, and uh, you, you can produce them. So when you are asked to do so, nothing of the matter materialized. But he is part of the ruling ruling mafia, ruling cabal. And because he is part that's, of the ruling cabal, he is not accountable. Because his that's boss that's assumes that Shinamasa is, is what? A truthful person. Yes, what I'm saying is that in an ordinary democracy, Oh, he will be somewhere, somewhere where he, where he doesn't see sunshine. In a normal democracy, a court order can be acquired, giving uh, the relevant minister a certain period of time to produce uh, certain documents. But in Zimbabwe, so there, there so is there are people who are untouchable. If you go to Zimbabwe, what that anti-corruption thing, and even report, if they are listening, they are watching. They will not touch it. Because Chinamasa belongs to the untouchables. Have you seen the movie Godfather? That, that, is, the, that is exactly the thing that we are fighting here, uh, Mr. Mawere, that if the system is broken, you cannot expect, because remember, uh, this creature is a creation of, uh, it's, a, it's a political creation created over a long period of time. Go back to 1980, 85, when the Prime Minister used to appear uh, in, in Parliament for, for, for questioning. 
then you'll be questioned on business issues, uh, business laws, you'll be questioned on political issues, social right rounds. And then as time went on, ministers, the patronage system, you change the powers from uh, an ordinary prime minister to an executive president who does not report to parliament, he only reports to himself. So we went down that roller coaster where business people were asked to be political in order for them to survive and maintain their businesses. Yourselves, businesses today, as we speak, before each uh, election or campaign, they are approached for contributions. If they do not contribute, their business uh, is at risk of being shut down. So all these are things that have developed over many years. That is why you had the, the, the Masiwas running out, the Puma Maweres, the James Mushore. No, you are now including me in, in, in a fugitive category. <laughs> Lloyd, please be, be careful. No, 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 no. No, no you are saying I, I never I'm ran not, away, but you are now I'm putting... Not, I am not putting... Uh, what, I, what I am saying is that I'm not saying, uh, I'm not putting in a few yeah, You're put lumping our names as if we're a group. We never were a group. Strive speaks for himself. My facts are different from Makampa. No, no, no. No, no. I'm just saying, is, let's but be. Remember, I don't uh, remember me are, running away from anywhere. Let's, let's educate the masses okay. of Zimbabwe. Yeah. Let's, we're educating the masses. So when we're educating the masses, they want to also know who else did this government policy affect, right? So we so we, we nominate names. It might have affected them in different ways, but nevertheless, they were affected. So you are the only one who stood up to fight it. The others did not. They simply took off and went. But yourself, you fought your warrant of arrest, you fought your... Yeah, uh, remember, I, I, I was also specified. I was no. I'm just saying, Lloyd, you, you are you are speaking to the converted, but but there are people genuinely who don't know where the truth lies. They trust their people in government. They think they mean well. You said to me, let's speak uh, in length. No, I'm saying is let's let's deal with this. Uh, Issue. In fact, well, Norman, no, Norman is, yeah. is, is also in the. I think Norman is impatient. He's saying, uh, guys, the, co the committee should have also referred to the UK judgment to verify if the UK a court ruled on the same matter. He said the UK court ruling exposed the Chinamasa's life. So let's go through the motion so that you can see that Chinamasa. Does not does not respect court orders. Yeah. Yeah. So let's deal with this liar called Jinamaza without right. uh, camouflaging him with other people. Uh, let what 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 let, they are saying. the context of that. Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Lloyd. Hello, Lloyd. Yeah. yeah. Hello. Ye can yes, you we, yes, we can hear you loud and clearly. Hello. Okay. Uh, I was saying to Mr. Mawere, you, you said, let's, let's speak in, in layman terms. Let's educate the, the person who doesn't know. What I, am, what I was saying was that, look, if, if inter international law, if uh, a decision in a, in a UK court, absorbs you this is this is a this is a court that is not uh tempered with but I, I, i'm saying lloyd it the law it looks at internet no lloyd let, let's right. let's deal with the facts so that we get to where the international law comes in if it does arise because in the uk they use the company called amg global right they used the government called the. Yes. It was not the government of Zimbabwe. They dressed themselves in form of a company called Afaras Mtausi Guarazimba nominees, AMG. So let's see yes. what Shinamasa yes. told Parliament so that we can, you can then deal with this demon with facts. All right. Shinamasa. So, 
No, do you, but let's get the answer so that we don't have, we have superstitious people. Uh, and uh, uh, Lloyd, just forgive us. Uh, there are people who are allergic to facts. The documents exist. We have the cop of the answer. So let's be patient. Let's look at it and get what Shinamasa said. Okay. Yeah, so that we can nail this, this man. Okay, so yeah. is, there, is, there, is, is, is there, someone is reading it now? No, somebody is uh, uploading it now. Okay, all right, fair enough. Yeah, so that uh, we can uh, we can deal with uh, the connection between AMG and the government of Zimbabwe. Right, is, is it up now or is it still uploading? I think it's uh, it's uploading. But what, what needs to be done, because um, technically, see, if you are saying to the average person, this whole thing is so technical, one has to go back to, have you, have you ever considered that speaking, the guys you left on the ground, the, the guys you used to work for you, SMM, what are their thoughts? I'm saying, Lloyd, you're taking us back to people who are, who are scared to be citizens. 37 years, 37 years of independence has not produced independence. But more of dependence. Okay, all right. I hear you. So, so please, uh, these are no more people who are just trying to live their lives. Right. Is it uploaded yet? Uh, have you got it? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Okay, what does it say? Yeah, first just check the date. I think it's on the on the what is the date, uh, Lil? Uh, this is twenty July two thousand and five. And how many years later? Twelve years later. Okay. So right. yeah, so <clears throat> you got it. Uh, I haven't got it as yet. Let me just quickly go to, to it, then I can be able to read it. Is it now on the screen? Okay, uh, the document is now on the 1873 uh, TV Facebook page. Uh, if you also want to access it, if you are following us on Zimbabwe today, uh, just simply uh, go to the 1873 Facebook page where you will be able to see the document that we are talking about. This is basically the parliamentary debate. Um, just having a bit of challenges here mm -hmm. on my end. Can you... Read it. Can you see it? Y yes, I can see it. I'm just having a challenge. Uh, the page is not responding. Okay. Okay. So if you look at uh, yeah, uh, page 962, this is the the question, the question I was, Mr. Scala, who was the honorable Job, Sc Job, Scala, Job Scala. Job Scala, that's right. The administrator who was appointed for the administration of SMMH is Arthur Guarazimba. Not, he's not called Arthur, he's Afaras. And was appointed okay. directly by yourself. And the question to buy shares on behalf of the government to have total control of SMM. What is your comment? Shinamasa, it is true that the company is referring to acted as the nominee of the government to acquire a controlling interest in TNN. 
which was a shareholder of SMM. That is a lie. TNN was not a shareholder. That is the correct and the acquisition was done. This is Jinamasa in 2005. We have seen Jinamasa in 2010, <coughs> five years later. Then, then uh, page Uh, page uh, 978. Shinama says, it is obvious that the honorable member uh, does not understand when I say we are reconstructing and we are turning loans into equity. At the end of the reconstruction exercise, when it is confirmed by the courts, the debt we are owed by SMM will be written off. In return, we'll take over the company. Then he calls, he comes down, he go down. As I was explaining, at the end of the reconstruction exercise, what the state is owed will be turned into equity. It means at that point in time, the company will no longer be owing the 800 billion because the money will have been turned into equity. Then he goes on. If you start your own business through borrowings and you do not return this debt, you give control of your company to the creditors of the business. Mawere did, did not use any savings but he used government guarantees to purchase the company. He was hoping that if the company flourishes, he would be able to pay back what he would have borrowed. That did not happen. If he had run the operations in a prudent manner, he would have been able to come out of debt. But he did not. This is a person who is talking on behalf of a company. Government that is broke. Mm -hmm. And he's giving lectures about financial prudence. There were huge <laughs> interests where you would go into SMM, deep into the till to go and buy other things like Schweppes. Instead of plowing back into the company, what would have been made from the sales of the process of the company? Professor Shinamasa now is now a professor of business. That was not being done. Instead, the man was being used to buy other companies. And he lost control like he was driving a car. Completely to the creditors. And we happened as a state to be one of them. Can you imagine? We happened. Mm -hmm. This is a minister talking to parliament. The people of Zimbabwe and parliamentaries listen to this and think he's a serious guy. So we have now established that that Shinamasa under oath in parliament is saying as a as a matter of fact, not conjecture, that the acquisition of SMM was done by way of a government guarantee. What, what, we, what we have established is that uh, political consideration, which had no, um, should not have played a role okay. in, in, in a dispute, in a dispute uh, against the forefront. What we have established is that uh, when the no, you, 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 uh, you, you We need to give you a doctorate. Uh, uh, you, are, you are establishing things that uh, we have not even spoken about. There is no political consensus. These are factual issues. The minister is saying, as a matter of fact, that no, 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 no. I'm saying let's let's, let's let's not create a, a, a phantom character called a politician. Shinama says, "Human no. as me and you." Okay. Yeah. Let, let's, so let's not okay. give him let's, any any let's, other qualification that he. he he may be quasi-human, and then he's a, he's a 60% human, 
and the politicians, 40 percent. You may know what politicians are. Let's forget for now. You know, when you refer to facts, so when you call something a fact, well, a fact is something that can be tested. Yeah, it's, it's tested. That's what fact. I'm saying. Is we tested it. We have the acquisition so, documents. There is no reference to government. So, and, so when something is tested, when a fact is, is supposed, a word is supposedly put out as a fact is tested and fails test being a fact, then it becomes something else. That's it? what I'm saying is allow us to uh, allow us to exhaust that before we start importing political arguments. Okay. Yeah. Right. Let's let's, uh, let's yeah. not be politicians on facts. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now we turn to uh, the 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 issue of uh, uh, because Lloyd, you missed the first session, is it? You missed part one, where we talked yeah, about think... about the acquisition. When was when was that? Uh, part one was on uh, Tuesday. Was on Tuesday. Oh, I see. No, no, I was just uh, yes. I was just uh, no. I missed that one. Yes. We'll send you the podcast okay. so so that you can satisfy yourself that that matter has been dealt with, that there was no guarantee. Okay. Now we right. turn to this issue of the UK. Because in Amasa, in 2010, he said the company was purchased, was what? P purchased in the UK by this character called AMG Global Nominees. So either it was, that was the fact or not. So let's go to the judgment in the UK. Mm -hmm. Let's upload the UK judgment. Can you see it? All right. Is, is it up now? Yeah. I think it's uh, it's now uh, getting some legs. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's now up on the 1873 TV uh, Facebook page as well. Uh, so this is uh, the UK court uh, UK court of appeal uh, dated Thursday, 20th of November. 2008 and uh, you are a lawyer when somebody appeals what is the legal effect or legal understanding of an appeal uh, an appeal uh, what the effect of an appeal is to set the matter back where it was previously until this particular appeal is decided so which means i can only appeal when i've lost You can only appeal, yeah, you can appeal when you've lost, yes. I can't appeal if I won. Why would you want to appeal when you've won the matter? No, just to make sure that the superstitious people, that this was the second bite. <laughs> so for Shinamatha knew you. and ought to have known these facts because when you appeal and Shinamatha, who are the parties? Is is in the court document? Who is the appellant? Uh, the appellant is AMG Global Nominees Private Limited. And okay, so can we agree that where we see AMG Global Nominees, we see the government of Zimbabwe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. According to Jinamasa's version. Can right. we? Okay. Uh -huh. can, can we agree there? That the government of Zimbabwe appealed in the UK. Mm -hmm. And who was the? Uh, the respondent being Africa Resources Limited. That's my company. Uh huh. Yeah. So what does it what does it say? Upon the hearing of the P the appeal of the appeal of AMG Global Nominees Private Limited, uh, that is the appeal and AMG respectively. And upon Reed Smith Richards Butler LLP solicitors acting for AMG undertaking to A 
holds the sum of 115,000 pounds deposited in their client account by AMG as security for the course of the appeal incurred by the respondent, Africa Resources Limited, ARL, and to use such sum solely for the purposes of making, on behalf of AMG, the payment on account of ARL's costs referred in paragraph 3 below. B. Deliver bearer share warrants representing the issued share capital of SMM Holdings Limited and THZ Holdings Limited to TN Limited by no later than 4 p.m. on Friday, 28th November 2008. So you see the bearer share warrants now. They were supposed to be tendered mm -hmm. to TNN to restore the position that was there before. Mm -hmm. And what does Sinamaja tell Parliament and the people of Zimbabwe? He says he's got the bearer share warrants in contempt of an mm -hmm. order of the Court of Appeal. How right. does he, they were ordered to surrender the bare share warrants, which means, as a matter of fact, he doesn't have possession of what? The bare share warrants. And then in 2010, 2010 he represents that he's got the bare share warrants, that AMG is an interested party in the affairs of a company AMG was ordered to have nothing to do with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. yeah. And this is an appeal. That's the end of the legal road. Mm -hmm. So the matter was closed. Shinamasa knew that. As of 2000 and what? Uh, Eight. This is as of 2008. Yeah. yeah. He knew that. Notwithstanding, he tells the public, including the president, you know what the president was told? That there was a, the British judges don't like you because of the land reform. And therefore, uh. they, we have documents that show that as we go along SMM, you see how, how crazy this is. This is what Gosana doesn't want to know because he thinks he's personal. Uh, I think uh, Nkosana right now wants to get onto the saddle and then would look at these uh, things more my, my, microscopically. No, my, my friend, don't trust any man with power. If he's not prepared to understand when he's a free man, to understand the real things that you have... Did you know about this judgment, Lloyd? Yes, I've got these documents. Remember, I've had these documents for a while. Oh, then you've been keeping them in your closet and you want to be a politician. I don't understand. <laughs> You've never asked me about them. I've, ah, okay. This, Ima this imagine this. Jesus had left <laughs> disciples who were going to forget about him. Uh, what, what you don't realize is that the SMM case, uh, then there is the Paweni case, yeah. the Aruperi, and a few others were actually cases that we, we, we had to study in, 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 uh, in, in a particular context of study in, in international law vis-a-vis -vis Zimbabwe. No, I, I don't so, know where, where international law comes because the AMG simply went to court with money paid by the, the Reserve Bank. The, 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 fact, the fact that um, uh, your, your, your matter was held outside the original jurisdiction it gives it an international no the, the, no it doesn't give anything all the all, all amg said please read what what uh, what nomen mukanda gumbo is saying he's saying remember mm -hmm. chinamasa's first line of argument was that mawere defaulted in paying the purchase price which was 60 million dollars Mm -hmm. How yes. much then did Chinamasa pay to the seller to remedy the alleged breach? It was $2 million, which was mm -hmm. paid by a paper company called AMG. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, he's actually asking, was two million dollars which was paid by AMG enough to remedy the alleged breach? No, it was paid. They acquired the rights. Imagine you have a company that is insolvent in Zimbabwe, hopelessly insolvent, but you pay two million dollars positive value. Do you call that insolvency? Would you pay anything to a shareholder of a company that is bankrupt? No, you wouldn't. And you wouldn't make what are you buying? Uh -huh. so, yeah. So these are some of the things that we are saying. If you want to be a political actor in Zimbabwe, please learn from the facts. Other people have disappeared. They evaporated. Because they think people in government are invincible. <laughs> um, Bob, Marley, Bob Marley once sang and said uh, that, that, that big man that you see at some point was a little baby. So all those are acquired strength and, and power. What you should be, we should be getting out there is a situation... See, for me, it's more than just... Um, your unfair loss for me it's tomorrow what happens tomorrow when a government is constituted will it have the same kind of um, uh, fascist uh, legislation to make it impossible for business to operate in no in, in fact it, it, what did martin luther king say Uh, Martin Luther King said so many things. No, he, in he, said, to... he said the silence of these oh. talking heads yeah. mm -hmm. is what is more lethal than the acts of evil people. And uh, those who which, want which, to get which, into stage house blindfolded are more dangerous than those who are in state house. And, uh, yeah. So never trust a man with no power who wants power as an end in itself. Not to bring change to people's lives. Not to ensure that justice, any instance of justice, is injustice too many. Right. I, 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 I take it that this, uh, this, this uh, matter, the way it has been tackled, obviously you started with the, the, the part A, which was dealing with the aspect of acquisition, whether uh, true or false with regard to government guarantees. That's that has right. been established that there were no guarantees. That's uh, right. Part two is now looking at the, 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 the court processes and the... No, it's looking at the, what Namasa said as a public announcement to the people of Zimbabwe to say these are the facts. Right. Mawere does not own the company. So, so, so far we've established that some of the utterances that were made under oath, the utterances made under oath with regards to SMM uh, were false. And obviously the politics that... Uh, no, no, don't go there. I mean, Lloyd, you, you want to have too many legs. I mean, let's not go there, obviously. It's not obvious. If we are dealing with the person and the facts, let's now go to what was reported in the herald so that we can finalize this discussion. What was then? Right. This is what the court documents are. This is what are the facts. Mm -hmm. Now let's go to Gina Master's what? It's article. Is it 20? Right. Uh, the 2011 article. 2011 article. All right. You've got it up or... Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's coming to, to civilization. Right. It says okay, Mawere I've, does I've not. Actually go, I've actually gone on my phone and I'm actually watching you live too. Oh, wow. Good afternoon, Doctor. So Lord. you know, technology is very good. Baba Magadi. <laughs> I think Mushana is on. Uh, yeah, it's Mushana. Mushana, yeah. are you back? That's, that's the man, that's the man I'm greeting. Oh. Yes, I'm just saying good afternoon, Dr. Lloyd. I'm listening. <laughs> 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 uh, 
So it says Mawere right. does not own SMM. I haven't spoken to you in a long time. Where have you been? Uh, I don't think, uh, yeah, let, I think we shall now, well, well uh, yeah. so let's say this is a, it was a, a fortuitous Nambura was the author, it was published in the Herald. It yeah. says, government wholly owns Shabani Mashava Mines because business mogul Mutuma Mawere did not pay any cent towards the purchase of the asbestos mining firm. A cabinet minister said yesterday, presenting oral evidence on the status of SMM Zimbabwe to the Parliamentary Portfolio Committee on Mines and Energy yesterday, Justice and Legal Affairs Minister Patrick Chinamasa said Mawere had failed to pay for the company. The government then took it over. He said Mawere actually used the company's assets to pay for part of the company, which is against the company's act, and did not invest into mines. The 25 million working capital he had promised to finance operations. Mawere does not even own SMM Zimbabwe because he mm -hmm. never paid the cent for the mines. He was bound to become owner after paying the full amount in April 1997. The company is now owned 100% by government, of which 76% is through conversion of loans to equity, and 24% through agreement with TNN PLC, a company that owned AA Mines. We have the share certificates ceded to us by TNN, and we are now looking for investors to help in rebuilding the company. Do you understand? Yes, that's the report from the Herald, yes. Yeah. This is the same minister who was in court in the UK, who is fixed with the knowledge about the true facts that a so, M so you, Mr. Mawera, you keep disputing my assertion that you see where the law operates. Yeah, remember the law does not um, see the law cannot be tempered with uh, any thing else and remain law and remain just because when you are now talking you see the article you just which you just read it it speaks of uh, a government that is overreaching in terms of uh, uh, its interaction with its citizens number one interactions with, uh, with with the corporations number two so if a government can overreach to that point and legislate uh, proactively for that to happen something is fundamentally wrong something is fundamentally broken no no but i'm saying that is that, I, we, i'm saying is that you may you may find a residual uh, uh, yesterday dr gosana Moy was saying the minister of justice of zimbabwe he has no problem with him he has worked with him so all we are saying is if you didn't know something uh, we are not talking about the government of zimbabwe we are talking about a man in the name of Chinamasa. With regards to Dr. With regards to Dr. Angosana Moyo, when he, uh, my understanding is when he referred to the issue of having worked well with, uh, with uh, uh, Emerson Umunanga or otherwise, he was not specifically talking about this matter. Uh, he was merely saying that generally, when we now come down to specifics, uh, let's say, for example, he wakes up as president tomorrow. I would like to think with the way uh, he is... I, I, I think, uh, 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 Lloyd, 
can you uh, can uh, it's time and I'll it's with him in the next few weeks as well here again in england no no i'm saying is, do, do you talk to of this no no nature, do you talk to include, let, no. let me finish okay so this nature which which include uh government policy overreaching to sorry i'm saying if you talk to him hello? please uh, i think lloyd you are talking to the converted hello Lloyd, you are talking to the converted. Right. Lloyd. What? I'm saying you are talking to the converted. Right, gentlemen. I think I'm, I'm beginning. I'm beginning to lose you guys now. You know, uh, I don't right. know. Let's, I don't know where the issue is now going. No, no. I, I think the, the issue is simple. We we are trying to establish. Not, not about the conduct of the Zimbabwe government. We are saying Chinamasa as a person made certain utterances and which, were not which, which are not true. And he knew and ought to have known where the truth lied. But nevertheless, he doesn't have regard for the truth. The question is, is it the only matter that he doesn't, his amnesia or Chinamasa has actually become a, a president in his own mind? That there are no controls. But, but Mutuma, Mutuma, why, I, I'm, I just want to find out something. Is it, is it possible that, um, for example, through friends of SMM, is it possible to sue Namasa, uh, and then bring these facts in court. No, I'm saying is uh, 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 Mushana, Mushana, uh, uh, Mushana. I don't know. I don't know whether in the UK there are many things that are done. We are doing in the public domain. People of Zimbabwe deserve the truth. The truth here in South Africa, for your information, we are talking about sex capture. We are talking about. The, you, are, you stand a better chance of getting some form of uh, justice through the court of public opinion on what you are doing now. That's right. Uh, and uh, Mushana wants us to go into into the courts that are appointed by the same people. Yes. So if you say uh, through friends of SMM, you are going to sue uh, the Zimbabwe government, they themselves the author of the same piece of legislation that did that. You remember... You are not talking about a normal uh, a, a state with the separation of powers functioning properly. We are talking about a state where there is now a thin line between party and government, if, if a line exists at all. There is a thin line between the executive, the judiciary, and uh, the legislature. So it is one unit which is uh, which has got a top-down uh, uh, authoritarian approach. So when they make a law, the even the judge, despite the fact that his role is to adjudicate, they actually enforce a, 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 a law that has been made because their appointment to that position through the Judicial Service Commission, through the uh, effects or uh, impression of the, of the president. So the whole thing does not work. So the political impulse that I'm telling you about is that look at the, 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 the difference between the UK judgment and the judgment in Zimbabwe. That in itself should tell you where, where the issues are. Look at the utterances by uh, Minister Shinamasa in both in Parliament and in the public domain regarding this matter. That should tell you that this issue that require, needs to be revisited. See, the fact that you are keeping it alive is a very good thing. But at some point, an impartial court will sit on this matter again in Zimbabwe. Right, in under a new dispensation and, and look at all the facts so that your legacy will be finally absorbed in, 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 which is exactly what it should be and the legacy of others as well we've got others that also went through more or less uh, similar things so my my point of contention is that we have established yes there were no government guarantees given to you to acquire much of our mind to the utterances of uh, minister shinamasa were false in many ways. I wouldn't want to use the word lie. I would like to think he misrepresented the truth of which I'm sure he was aware of. And the president was told that the reason why the UK courts 
made a judgment against us is because they don't like you because of the land of the land uh, invasion issues, which we know is nonsense because UK courts are impartial. UK courts will actually make a judgment of not even import, uh, deporting the son of a government minister to Zimbabwe because they are using their laws uh, really just. So there is no political consideration when it, came, when it came, there were no political considerations when it came to the UK judgment. The judgments that were tempered and continue to be tempered with politics and maliciousness and that one center of power thing are the judgments coming from Zimbabwe. But we are still alive as long as you've got breath in you. All these matters will come before an impartial court in the future, and I don't think that future is very far away. No, I think, I think you, are, you are a political magician, uh, Lloyd. I think uh, uh, the future doesn't belong to you and me. So let's accept that we live in the present. In the long but term... Sure. No, no. I'm saying, Lord, don't promise things that are not, are, are, are not within your control. Promise things that are within your control. What you know today... Share with it's others, share with, uh, with your, if it's your candidate in Gosana, please help him before he gets into the office that he wants. Otherwise, you'll you uh, be dangerous. You'll be a menace to himself. So the, let's not the, try, to, let's the, not try to uh, predict uh, the election results, as Mushana will tell you, may be defined by different things. So, Roger, now what what would you find? Uh, I, I haven't heard him speak. Uh, let him speak for a bit. I'm sure I haven't heard from you in a while. You were you were saying something. Is he still there? I know this connection is a bit dodgy. I, I'm hearing you in bits and bobs. Okay. Okay. What I was saying was that uh, to to Mr. Mawere is that. Uh, I think if he is to be fair uh, to himself and to others, that uh, Dr. Nkotana will represent a, 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 a different uh, school of thought, or a different uh, type of politician, who I think will do justice given the chance in, in our situation uh, on the Zimbabwe we want. Let's not be quick to, to say he's not going to do this, he's not going to do that. But, I think... Uh, I think let's, let's, Okay. Yeah. I think nobody is saying that. I think uh, the correct. Uh, let's not uh, predict. We are not clairvoyants. If he becomes president, good for him. But for now, let's deal with the facts that we have now. So all we are trying is to share, so that the people who are out there, they know what the facts are. We are. We don't want to predict. I don't want to get involved in who is going to be the president. Whether this one or that one doesn't change the, the facts. The facts remain what they the are. That, that, uh, Mr. Howell, the facts that we have before, uh, before us is that we've got 40 judgments sitting uh, in, in which, 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 which were made in, in, in Zimbabwean courts. 40 in the sense that they were uh, tempered with political considerations meant to get to a specific goal. And the prejudice is, is, is there for everybody to see. No, I don't, so, I, don't, I don't know, uh, Lloyd, the, Lloyd, the, Lloyd, the, I, 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 the, I only have two eyes, Lloyd. I, I can't predict uh, to talk on behalf of others. What I do know now is that what I know is not what other people know. They have no obligation to know it. And some will take an interest. So I think this discussion I, would go a long way. If, if our job is just to establish the facts only. Our job is to establish the facts. Your yeah, then, then the facts. those who may want to take the, this further, they now have the ammunition, the documents are there. So there's nothing new. So let's, let's just, otherwise we end up into a political argument which is not necessary. Fair enough. Yeah, no we don't we don't need to go that uh, that way. If you if you believe that Gosana is the best candidate for Zimbabwe, fine. It's like a beauty pageant. Whoever wins wins. Fair enough. But we can't uh, promise that so if what, uh, so what we are what we are saying is that 
those kind of laws, that prejudice, that makes the environment toxic for business people like yourselves in Zimbabwe have no place in a democratic Zimbabwe have no place in the Zimbabwe that we want. No, no I'm what saying, I'm saying is that I can't get uh, into that because Lloyd, if you are you are injured today, don't wait until something happens that you are not in control of. It may not happen in your favor. So if you want to campaign, campaign based on facts. Don't campaign okay. based on personalities. Right. So, so we, we have established the facts, Mr. Manuel. Yeah, this I'm saying it's not are. we. Let's allow right. the other people to what to digest the facts. Let's go back, go back to the law. Let's go back to the laws. We have established the facts. We now have to look at remedies. No, no. I'm saying is <coughs> I, I'm not here to be asking for help for remedies. All I'm saying is I have I undertook to provide the facts to people who still had questions about how SMM was acquired. That's all. You want us to find somebody else, somebody else who will chair, who will... Uh, yeah, I know. That's another discussion. Another discussion that will look at remedies on the if, SMM If case. they want to use SMM as one of many examples. Yes, one of many examples. Yeah, and, and I'm not here to be saying I want this, I want the government to do this for me or not. These facts have remained there, as you see the judgments of 2008. So, so what I am saying is, what I'm proposing, Mr. Mushana, is there, and there are other players we, who, who, who can look at this matter in your absence, or maybe... That's right. I don't, I don't have to participate in that. But I can participate as, as a resource for people who, when we search, is Namasa a liar or not? Or oh, did Yamasa share the truth? Let's deal with facts. I can only say on this matter, but I can't say Chinamasa on other matters. He Fair is... enough, I hear you. So what we are saying is the, the next topic on this matter, if you have not already established one. No, no, we, we, are, we are we're still going ahead because there are other issues that keep keep coming up on a factual basis. But we are saying that. Uh, the issue of politicians, let them deal with it. But the, the only caution I have, if a person wants to get into office first before he establishes the truth, then that person is more dangerous to me. No, I, I think that is uh, that, that, that would be a bit unfair to... No, to no, I'm saying that, it, that assertion. No, I'm entitled to make my own pronouncement. And you are entitled oh, to yeah. make... Yeah. So I think we, are, we live in a free society. My view yes. is that I... But, but, yes. If I see someone angry, then I say, wait until I remove Mugabe so that I will, I'll feed you. No, no, no. no. I, I don't think that was the case. The case was that uh, my understanding or the way that interview went, obviously... Uh, from what I gather, none of this was discussed beforehand. But uh, nevertheless, uh, the issue was that he, he was trying to no. seek an understanding. He probably had a general understanding of what. No, I'm saying is on. now, Lloyd, you understand that you can go and brief the person to say, let's have now a factual, get the facts yeah. first, then come on air and have an honest discussion. Mutuma. Yeah. I, I think to be fair with uh, Dr. Kosanamo, I think to be fair or, 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 uh, pertaining to Dr. Moyo, you know, he did not address this issue as he refused to address individual issues. In fact, he did ask for more facts and, yes. and, and he was no, yeah. trying to answer you know, questions generically. So I, I don't think we can uh, say he he refused to accept the facts on the ground. No, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm, make I'm, it very clear. No, I'm, I'm saying is Lloyd, Lloyd actually has got, uh, I think the, the proof of the pudding is what in the eating. So I think let's not talk on his behalf. If he's interested in facts, by now you would have called to say, guys, what were you talking about? Why did you ambush me? And uh, I think can I get the facts? Be, I'm just saying is the, the, 
the, let's not let's, let's, let's not talk on behalf the of a person. The politics of personality is out of it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Mr. Mishana did uh, uh, mention a point that uh, he refused to withdraw on the matter specifically. He he gave general answers as to the unfairness of uh, retroactive laws, uh, but in some cases. In first world countries, they've been used. Uh, he, he mentioned, he cited the example of uh, those children that were abused by those uh, um, uh, cliques, priests, and so on. So he, that was his understanding. So in this particular instance, he did not specifically speak onto the SMM case. He spoke no, about no, a Zimbabwe that we did not want. No, no, I'm, I'm saying is, a, I'm just saying is for you to get a even the Gupta cases when they are saying judicial commission. They are, they are not asking for anything that is not possible. Just to get the facts. People who decide in 2019. True. True enough. Yeah, so let, let's, let's have an attitude. Let's, let's, we are let, working. Okay, gentlemen, we have, we have run out of time. Uh, um, Lloyd, sorry, we have run out of time. We can uh, continue with this uh, discussion tomorrow, same time, uh, between 5 p.m., uh, Central African time and uh, 6 p.m. Central African time and we can be able to unpack further this issue that we are looking at. Uh, Mr. Mawere, yeah. thank you so much for joining us uh, this uh, evening on the 1873 TV. Mushana as well as uh, Lloyd, thank you so much for also being part of this uh, discussion. We definitely look forward to your contributions in tomorrow's discussion and to the viewers out there, thank you for making the 1873 TV your channel of choice your vision on issues that matter, and your power to inspire new thinking, new possibilities, and new outcomes. Be sure to catch us again tomorrow, same time between 5 p.m. Central African time and 6 p.m. Central African time. Tinashe Mpasiri is my name. Goodbye. Thank you.